All right, let's take a look at a Help Me Hank consumer alert. This one comes from the toy company Hasbro. It's recalling nearly 53,000 Nerf Super Soaker water guns. We're talking about the Super Soaker XP20 and XP30. They were both sold at Target stores nationwide. The water blaster contains levels of lead in the ink that exceeds federal safety standards. Lead is toxic and poses health risks if ingested by children. If you have the toy, take it away from your kids and contact Hasbro for how to get a refund. First of all, we're also tracking some of the top stories from around the world this Friday. The Russian opposition leader who has been in a coma will be allowed to travel to Germany for medical treatments. Supporters suspect Alexei Navalny may have been poisoned and they're pointing fingers at the Kremlin. He's long been a critic of Vladimir Putin and suddenly got ill. Yesterday on a flight from Siberia to Moscow, Russian doctors say they don't think Navalny was poisoned. German doctors have checked his condition and there is a plan to fly him to Berlin tomorrow. Countries around the world remain locked in a battle with COVID-19, trying to stop surges as they erupt. South Korean health authorities are warning today that a cluster of infections could spread after thousands of people attended a political rally last week. Doctors are urging those people to come forward to be tested. South Korea reported 324 new cases yesterday. That's the highest daily count since March. The government is using cell phone data to track thousands of people who were at the rally. The president is calling for, quote, stern legal action against any activity that disturbs the quarantine operation. Moving to Europe, Spanish residents are keeping a close eye on COVID numbers there. In the past 24 hours, Spain saw more than 3,300 new cases. People are masking up in Madrid, trying to keep that number from growing. Deaths have increased and Spain lifted its lockdown, but they're still far below levels we'd seen in late March.